Hi everyone, welcome to another What the Wednesday. My name's Kate McCarthy and I'm with the Northwest Local Land Services as a Livestock Officer. And today I just wanted to talk about the importance of rising plane of nutrition for bulls within a beef cattle enterprise um, and how much of a role that has on improving reproductive rates. So I guess um, bulls, whether that's homebred or, or bulls that you buy in, are a large capital investment to a, um, a beef cattle enterprise and only realistically a small proportion in comparison to cows. And so sometimes in that, it can be forgotten the, the role of managing bulls adequately, adequately pre-joining um, and, and during the breeding se season and how much um, that can influence the success rate of, yeah, their, I guess their, their conception um, rates and, and joining heifers and cows. So um, I suppose one thing to emphasise is, is nutrition is a really important management tool within that and um, I guess to achieve high reproductive rates, um, bulls must have good libido and be able to serve and, and produce good semen quality. So nutrition plays a, a pivotal role in that and it influences fat score, which then influences the bull's ability to serve. So um, it can take up to, I guess, the, the where we look at rising plane of nutrition is that two month period. So I guess it's the 56 to 60 days where um, I suppose it, it takes for a, a sperm cell to, to, um, to, I guess, develop and mature um, and appear, you know, in ejaculate. So um, bulls must be fed adequate energy to be able to um, meet the needs of this and, and make sure that I guess their um, energy reserves can ensure that these elements of production can occur effectively. Um, and I suppose energy requirements differ. So they differ between bull's age, they differ between bull's frame, um, they differ between body condition scores and um, I guess the desired, desired rate of gain. So you might get some younger bulls that might have been on a pretty high, high nutrition or ration. So you're looking to probably, um, I guess, let them down a little bit, but um, in, in other instances, you're probably looking to, to boost them back up. So um, one of the fat scores that I suppose the fat score that we do focus on is is to keep um, bulls at a or work for a fat score um, three. So when we when we go and assess bulls at that two month period, it gives gives you time to then go and say, well, all right, um, I need to start them on a rising plane of nutrition or I need to look at letting them down a little bit to get to that ideal fat score three. So we kind of look at a minimum of fat score 2.5 and a maximum of fat score 3.5. Once you start getting to those high fours and fives, that can then have a negative effect, effect on reproduction because lazy bulls and other factors um, can influence libido amongst other things so um that's really important and i guess i suppose if you can if you're able to assess them in that that period before joining you can look at the necessity for, of supplementary feeding or making sure that you're moving them on to pastures that might meet their energy requirements so i suppose for a bull that you're looking to improve their um, fat score or build them up, they can, they tend to, well, they can require up to 11 or around 11.5 megajoules of metabolizable energy in a particular feed base because on a, like for a, so if you look at it on a per day basis, these bulls within that, you know, looking to grow at least a kilo a day can require up to 130 megajoules of metabolizable energy to achieve that. So you need to be able to plan that out and I suppose managing them, you know, within that gap of that two month period and looking how you can um, assess your um, rising plane and nutrition is, is, is really important. So um, another thing that's important to mention is just doing the soundness check. So looking at, um, you know, feet and, and legs and checking for um, looking at testes, seeing if there's any lumps or um, such um, and looking at the sheath for any irritations or infections. Um, and then obviously the, the role of scrotal circumference um, that plays that, that it plays on sperm production. So we, we assess that. But um, I suppose the point of this is to, to emphasize
emphasize nutrition um, in this video. So managing manage your nutrition to meet, you know, I guess that standard of fat score. Um, one other thing I would say is that we are we we're are developing a Northwest Beef Extension Network, and I suppose in that we are, are trying to help producers get um, the best from their beef business and that can be done through improving their access to I guess cutting edge, uh, cutting edge research and information in um, and, and genetics and beef cattle nutrition and grazing management so both myself and Naomi Hobson who's returned off maternity leave is going to be facilitating um, that alongside, alongside Tim Clark who's another livestock officer um, so if you have any interest in that please feel free to contact us um, another thing that I will mention is we will be sharing the Hunter um, LLS webinar on, I guess, um, aspects to consider with bulls. So keep an eye out on that. And yeah, just just to be aware that Naomi is back and I've attached her contact details to this. So if you have any questions for her or myself or, or Tim, please feel free to get in touch. Thank you.